Welcome to the Extended Nature Lovers Edition. Sorry about the wind noise. Still don't have myself a microphone. We are walking down here. So if you love New Zealand, no cars, no dogs, this is a Kiwi zone. There are definitely some new houses being built in here. This one and this one here, brand new. And yeah, I guess like the closer the houses get to the Kiwi zone, the more predators and things, you know, they just get closer and closer to the bush. In saying that, I would dearly love to live in the bush. I love that feeling of a storm a brewing where everything's like bustling around. You can see the trees up here. Got a lot of action going on. Storm of ruin. You'll remember the harakeke, the flax plant from the Parua Bay video. You'll see now that these have flowers, the flowers that the tui were eating are now becoming seed pods. So here you can walk across this bridge and go down the track that starts there. But this is obviously the old way, you can see there's an old forward down here. Um, and people used to climb down from here, so I'm going to do that. Lots of slime going on. Now you notice that is a different kind of sound because this is like a tunnel that's been man-made so it's got a different kind of sound to a natural one it's much more kind of industrial sounding isn't it whereas this bit here is channeling exactly the same amount of water but it sounds really different isn't it Some fairies live here. Well, we found ourselves on a dock staircase, which was not the hope. I bet if I had done this track before this had been carved in, I might know where else to go but as it is we'll just keep going maybe the loop track when we get to that has the opportunity to walk a track in bare feet wow we're standing amongst a young kauri forest and i just love the resonance that a kauri forest gives off it's like soaked in wisdom, you know? Or maybe you don't know. You'll notice how still it is around me. 
I can hear and see the wind in the treetops. But I don't really feel it down where I am, except for maybe a gentle breeze when a big gust of air comes. And you can tell that by hearing how much the trees are getting jostled around. I thought the wind was getting louder, but it's actually the sound of the waterfall. Here's the lookout point. Ah yes, so I've jumped off the track to follow what clearly is a track. There's always going to be tracks that go down to the top and the bottom of a waterfall. Can't help ourselves. We feel so connected to them. Looks like a slip and slide, eh? Like a water slide. A few different passages you can take. And it's a still a fair drop to the actual fall falls part, so my guess is people have swum here in the past, obviously not today. coming off the top of the waterfall backwards up to wet me. It's very funny. A stick insect! I've walked a little further up the river. Could, but I'd get very wet. So I could uh, get across the river, but I'd get my whole, probably up to my waist deep, I think. Because I managed to get thigh high and I was not at the bottom yet. It's actually not cold, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, great place to come back to. One thing that's good about rivers is that you're in the shade. You're usually in the bush. So it makes it a shady place as opposed to some of the beaches. But 
I didn't bring my swimmers today and I want to go see the rest of the track so I don't really want to get super wet. Let's go do the rest of this track. I love coming to these sorts of places where I can be a little bit wild, take off my shoes, run around with my hair a mess. I love these spaces because they make me feel a sense of awe and wonder. By running around in bare feet I am connecting myself to the earth and then that connects me to a bigger sense of awe and wonder, which then feeds into my well-being. So I love coming to these spaces. It's so wild and freeing for my heart. And I really hope that you all are starting to get excited and encouraged to put your own feet into nature. I have one very wet leg <laughs> and one not. Okay, now for the loop. Loopy loopy. Okay, so I started up the loop track and then noticed a track coming off the side of that track. Da, 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 da. But it was kind of set up so it looked like drainage because I put a drainage pipe exactly where it was running off. So it just looked like runoff. But I've come down here and look. Yeah, man-made stairs. So it's definitely been a track in the past. Oh, look, I can see a banister. Time to take these puppies off again. This is called a lance wood. Aren't those leaves awesome? This is the juvenile version of the tree, and when it grows up, it will look completely different. Don't be tempted to pick off the leaves, though, because. The tree needs it more than you do. Wow, if you do come this way, just stick to the old track because there are some really rare and beautiful ferns that are on this hillside and we definitely shouldn't walk on them. Check this out. It's a secret staircase through the forest. Oh, I see. It's a warning banister. So I'm just carefully making my way down past the barrier. It's quite steep. Definitely have to have my phone away. And I'm just going to see how far safely we can go. I love tree ladders. So I can now just see the waterfall over there. This track continues to go down. It's very steep. It's very stony. It's like walking on gravel, actually, um, except it's natural. And yeah, and just, since I'm here, I may as well just keep going. Some Kiwi ingenuity has been here before me. We've got some ropes for that last steep walk. Also right above us is this very, very rotten, already half broken tortilla tree, so it's so dangerous. Just to satisfy all our curiosities, that's what's at the bottom of the rope. It keeps going, it's super steep, and it just keeps going and being super steep. I didn't make the bottom, do not recommend, way too steep, super dangerous. It was actually much easier climbing up than I thought. Big shale rocks. Ah. I was not expecting to climb this much today. It's a good workout actually. A teeny tiny little koru. That's the name of this shape in Tramari. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> Very cute. It's amazing how being in the bush makes me feel so small and yet I'm part of everything. It's an amazing sense of connection that is like small and big at the same time. I'm talking 
talking to a fantail up here related to the Australian wagtail. He's doing a little dance in the uh, trees up there with his tail fanned out. But sometimes you can make them come to you when you do this kind of <coughs> calling to a fantail. I can see slips on the hillside on the opposite side of the river. This whole area is really unstable. We're climbing pretty much vertical. See what I mean? Sneaky. Looks like a drainage trail. So I've taken the clockwise route and there's a cute little stream that's alongside me right now. Isn't this amazing subtropical jungle? Similar plants to what Costa Rica has it actually. And when I visited there this year, I felt so at home because it was so similar. Aside from all the extra wildlife that they have. It's a lovely walk. So we're walking in a valley on the other side of the river and that is like crazy steep and then I know that the waterfall river is up over that hill so I'm very intrigued as to where we're going. Okay, we're diverting away from the stream and heading up the rise. Very barefoot friendly here. Woo, there's some stairs. Woo, there's some stairs. I'm trying to capture the sound of the wind as it rolls around me. You can hear it going up and down the valleys here. So the wind is not in the same place all the time. It's kind of swirling. It's very cool. I really enjoy it. Loop that way. Secret path this way. It's even got red markers, look. <laughs> so squishy. You can kind of see it, I almost walked through that cobweb. So this track is doubling back on the valley that I just walked through. I believe the track that I was on is just down there. So this is probably the original track of the area. So I'm going to stop and turn around and go back because I want to see the waterfall again. This is an incredible find. These, I think, are a type of lichen, and I've only ever seen them grow in Australia because they grow where the burning seed event is held every year. They're kind of like lichen, except they're not actually attached to anything, and they take and they take a much more 3D form. The ones 
at burning seed when they were this size would be about I think 10 years old because they grow very very slowly so very exciting to find such a thing here um, if you ever do see a field like this of all these little pops of lichen do not walk on them they're probably as old as your nieces and nephews children of the forest look at all those little tuft balls And then there's some more on this side of the track. And of course, don't remove these from the environment because they won't survive outside of the forest. This was on the pathway. Look, it's as big as my hand. It's huge. wonder how old it is. I'm just going to pop it off the path. Oh, there's another bit. Off you go. Good little snail. Wow, such a variety of habitat. Now we've come to a little bracken forest. The fractal ferns that they are. So another piece of dock trickery, we had just had a very intense gravel path uh, and now we've joined up to the same looking path that I was walking on before, so this must be where we have joined to the original track and they put that gravel path there as a distraction from the original track because they don't want people going that way like, anymore I guess. What a shame. This path would have been so pretty before they put this gravel through it. Oh, we are switched back to not gravel again. Track can't decide what it is. <laughs> and gravel again. Here is a Kauri tree and you can see it's been scored a few times a very long time ago. Um, to help the gum come out. Kauri gum was a huge part of New Zealand industry as we were first being settled. It was used in all kinds of things. It smells amazing too, like pine basically. And after a lovely time up on the ridge, I can see we're heading down the hill. Look how many stairs there are. I'm glad I came this way around. And if you listen carefully, we can hear the waterfall. I have now joined up to the loop track again. So that loop track went all the way, was at the very end of this valley. And just pinged off the side, so I don't know where it goes. I'll have to have a look at some old maps. I'm heading out. I've come back down to the waterfall because that loop track did not see the waterfall at all. So I've come down to say goodbye. Bye, sorry, I see waterfall. That's it for the extended Nature Lovers Edition today. I hope you have a great week and get your feet into nature.